And I'm Stefan. And we, and we are... are... We always had a dream to travel Australia. So we packed up our lives and began our adventure in our renovated caravan called Rocket. Be sure to tune in every week to see where our adventures take us next. Place, uh, I think it's the Barangor Weir or something like that. It's a nice little waterfall popping off. Look at that. And this is the river that drowned my unicycle. So, to you, river. I uh, checked my unicycle's motherboard this morning, and there's little bits of corrosion, so I just brushed it all off with a bit of uh, what's it called? Ascrop alcohol, and hopefully it'll be alright once it dries now. Fingers yeah, crossed. Yeah, we might go for a walk down there. There's no kayaking this, but I'm guessing the water level is usually like pretty decent. So you could totally go through here with a kayak if it was near yeah, the height of all this muddiness. I wonder how often it's this high. Definitely wet season. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I think everything is as dry as it's going to get. Um, I've retested all the batteries. Good, 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 bad. Unfortunately, it's gone down to 60 volts and the rest are like 80, 49, I mean uh, 39 and 39, or well, it's like 70 something. So I'm gonna plug them in and hopefully nothing bad happens. It's probably gonna be a little bit of a spark. It's a normal amount. No huge sparks yet, that's good. It needs the back ones to actually function, so I'm glad that I'm um, the back ones are good because I can always run my external packs instead of having my one of my front ones. And I have a uh, backup front one, so hopefully that's good. Don't freak out on me. Holy shit! It works. Yeah. Yeah. One of the batteries is buggered, but it's about ba self balancing. Seems good. Uh, take it for an ever so short ride because the suspension's cut totally out and everything. I can't even ride like that. Or well, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> That's wicked. Alright, just gonna take apart that battery and see what's going on. One battery's toast, but. Is the light, the light works. Everything works. Fuck yeah. Fully submerged, dried up, turns on. Huh? Yeah, I mean, still though, it died in the water, but yeah, it's, it's alive. The motor works, everything works, except for that battery. And that battery is one that I had problems with in the past. And I, um, all the cables got kind of ripped and shit. So looking at it now, if it's gonna focus, I had to sticky tape uh, pieces because they were shredded but I did heat shrink a bunch of it but yeah I uh, siliconed it but I'm guessing water got inside there so I'm going to take it apart now ish because I'm going to have to rip all the shit off the sides and um, yeah I'll rip it all off and see if I can salvage it and if I can hopefully it doesn't cost me a cent and it's just you know Lesson learned, I won't do that again. I'm gonna lay it down if I'm anywhere near water. So this is the battery's having problems, and yeah, it's absolutely soaked the whole inside of it. Like, the top is a lot worse sealed than the bottom, so it would have just, it's not warm or anything though, but it is fully discharged, so something's going on. So it's most likely just um, shorting some of the connections out. This is the one that I had problems with. Yeah, it's not, it's not really warm. Wouldn't say it's cold or anything, but 
It's not hot. But uh, yeah, there's no signs of actual damage. Except for this red stuff leaking everywhere. Like, it looks pretty good. They put this like spray over it, over everything to like waterproof it. Sorry, there we go. To waterproof it. So, um, it's probably just something like that. Shorten up the terminals. So I might just dry it out and... Yeah, look at that. Electri electrolysis, electrolysis. So that's just um, passing electricity through water, creating gases and such. So it's probably all right. I just got to let it dry out. That'd be awesome. Because the BMS I don't think is fried. I'll uh, check it again and make sure there's none that are particularly low because it's most likely discharged it unevenly. So there'll be one set that's lower than the others and I'll have to try to charge those up individually to bring the whole pack up to normal and then it should be good. It looks like this one here. This cell right here is dead. The water killed it. We've got one dead cell. So I'm going to have to remove that and try and replace it somehow. I did just get a spot welder, so it should be possible now, which is good. I've removed it. So, uh, yeah. Working cell, this one and this one. I get four volts. Oh, I hope you saw that. This one. Nothing. Absolutely zero. Totally cooked. And this is the one that um, I had to sold to to fix previously because this one's been dodgy. So my most dodgy cell finally gave out with the water, which I'm not mad about. At least uh, if one of them had to go, I'm glad it was that one. And I do have a replacement, luckily enough, from uh, a friend that I fixed the exact same thing and he ended up getting a new pack. So uh, yeah, shit yeah, got spares. I have a spare pack front pack and it happens to be the exact same pack but it, it was damaged it was the one I got in um, Perth at the broken BMS the cells are fine and I was thinking I'll take a cell out of that because the only other cell I have is this one here which is I'm pretty sure is from an MSP and I was like oh, I may as well stick with the same same makeup turns out that this is also the same cells that the MSP uses so I guess they changed the cells they used in um in different uh, different batch models. So I am just going to go ahead and slot this in and see if I'm getting full voltage, see if everything works. Fingers crossed for me. Pop. So I've filed down all the stuff. Everything's been filed and smooth. Smooth enough anyway. It'll sit pretty well there. And um, just spot welding those on. The new spot water, first time I've actually used it for, you know, actually things I need. I've tested it, but it seems pretty good. It's not the, the nicest of welds, it's kind of hard to get in there, but it is very solid. Absolutely no side to side movement or anything. I did like an unnecessary amount and did a couple in the same spot just to make sure it's really, really on there. I uh, did a bunch of test ones, just making sure I get it all down pat and it starts to get to the point where it's like, it's pretty good, it's, it's ripping it instead of, um, popping off so I think I got the settings good and uh, yeah now I just gotta do the other side and then do this bad boy slot it in and spot weld it to the board and then hopefully my battery packs good again all connected up sold it in I mean uh, spot all it in probably did more than I needed to do and like when you look at these ones they're tiny little tiny little dots that's probably why they do break. I don't think these guys, the stock ones, are very strong. Look at these bastards. Mm -mm, that one actually blew through a little bit. And this one's good. Nice and solid. I like it. So I should hopefully never have to worry about that again. I'm going to hot glue in the inside like I did previously. That looks a bit weird, I know. But yeah, if you don't hot glue them, they shake around and destroy themselves. So I'm going to do that. Pack's good. Excelente. I'm gonna put that one back together. And man, this thing is this is good. I would be screwed without it. And uh, yeah, 
Holy shit, these get so hot. I said I was doing like 500 and something amps. That's loads. Yeah, definitely like that little bit sparks so much when it just, just missed. I was like, oh shit. But yeah, it seems fine. Well, battery just exploded. <sighs> Holy shit. That was intense. <laughs> Hoiked it over my car. I have no idea what's going on. It was totally fine. Did I really? Whoa, that was intense. <laughs> oh, Jesus. How's your arm? Oh, it's fine. I think I might have burned a few hairs, but... Oh, I'm going to go down make sure it's not... Yeah, it's kind of filled the whole place with smoke. I have no idea what just happened there. It took off like a goddamn rocket. I was like going for the sink, but it was Well, there goes that. I like looked over the edge and I saw my car and I'm like, I better clear that car. What the shit? It was totally fine. Everything was fine. I was just hot gluing it. And then the whole thing went up. That's so weird. It was all totally cool. And the weird thing is, it wasn't, I don't think it was even the cell I put in. That's my one, I think. Oh, it's hard to say. Oh, no, that's the good one. That's the one I just put in. I did see a, um, oh, I did burn my finger a little bit. Yeah, it's hooked it. I'm like, obviously I can't keep it in the house because if the whole that was one cell, one. that was only one cell. Yeah. Jesus. There was a small hole in one of them I saw, but it looked like it was just the um, the wrapping. So maybe the water did more damage than I thought. Well, I don't understand. It could just rupture like that. It was literally just sitting there. I wasn't even touching. I was just I had it like this, and I was going. Hot glue, hot glue, and they went <laughs> and absolutely crazy. And I just picked it up from the side that wasn't going crazy. And I like first I looked at the sink, and then I was like, nah, ran to here, saw my car, and hoiked it as far as I could. I made the pathway. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was actually closed, so I couldn't get onto the deck. I would have ran to there and then thrown it from there over, but yeah, it's a uh, yeah. So which cell was it? So that goes there. That goes there and there. There's a cell missing. Oh, there it is. Well, that one's fine. Warm though, they're all really warm. They're not too bad. Obviously here. That's it. so interesting though, because I was not, I didn't even touch anything here. Like I didn't even spot weld to that. I spot welded to this one. Wow, look at that, it's like separated the inside. So, uh, oh yeah, there it is. Ruptured out the side. Yeah, no idea what caused it. It didn't short circuit, nothing. It was literally just sitting there like this. And I was hot gluing it so they don't jiggle around and um, break the nickel strips. It was totally normal, just sitting there. Wasn't touching the pack, just on the top. Luckily I had some quick thinking. That's insane. Totally cooked. I'm glad it was just one cell that went up. Yeah. Did you put the fans on? I did, all of them. Alright. God damn it. I guess I can't use this pack anymore. I might be able to use the uh BMS. <laughs> oh, I hurt my finger. God damn it. I didn't expect that to happen. Do you think I should 
Oh, 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 oh. Nah. Nah. I want to make sure this is neutralized and not going to get worse. Oh no, there we go. It was two cells. This one and this one. Were they connected? That was the... Uh, where was this one? That's a middle pack. Yeah, they were next to each other. I think it did um, jettison directly into the one next to it, so that's probably why. Oh, man. Would have been good if I recorded it, but yeah, it was full on like firework. Upon looking at it further, I can see that it... Oh, God, it's still so hot. It didn't, uh, it didn't touch the... It never, there's no like burn marks or anything, I mean like um, blown metal from it touching and short circuiting or anything like that around the uh, the positive. By the looks of it, it's all, it's all smooth. It just ruptured out the side. Oh man. Just straight out ruptured out the side. Same with the other one. Just blew out the side. Absolutely no marks of, uh, God, how is it still this hot? Well, I might keep some of these and I think these are probably the only ones I'm going to keep. On an upside though, I can see how strong my, uh, my welds were. Oh. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I am happy with that little welder. Is it disformed? No, it's not. One good cell. Two good cells. Mm, there's a couple of good ones, but a couple of shorter ones. But looks of it, throwing it definitely, uh, definitely destroyed it. But I'm thinking that uh, if I didn't, there's obviously a lot of small uh, balance connectors and shit in there. And the other pack I've got has a busted. BMS, so either way, it was gone. But the thing is, I think the other one's BMS is busted on this, but like some of, the, some of these chips are busted. So I might be able to try and fix the other one using these parts. I'll give it a shot. What have I got to lose? Another explosion, maybe. So I think I figured out what happened. So, um, when I checked it yesterday, when, um, when it first happened, all the voltages were fine. Then I checked it again in the morning. One cell was totally dead, breaking the uh, the series connection. And then when I fixed the cell, it reconnected the connection, I guess. So then the, the power was flowing through all of them. I mean, through the BMS and through all of them. And then I'm guessing it was slowly, I don't know, destroying itself. It's so weird though, because like I, I literally fixed it with the, um, the resoldering it. And then it was maybe, maybe like half an hour or so. Like I made lunch, I had lunch, I did some editing. And then I came back and it, nothing was warm or anything. And then I, um, yeah, it's just started hot gluing them. So I'm guessing that putting the new cell, in, the fixing the cell, completed the link, letting it get destructive again. But I am so lucky it didn't go up last night and just burn up my whole unicycle because that would have been a gone unicycle. I'm going to go check now once I've ma finished making these disconnected. I'm going to check my other packs and make sure there's no water getting to them because if they've got water in them, I don't know. I'm a bit uneasy now. Obviously, water and batteries don't mix. You know, lithium and water, they react. It creates heat. Took apart all the packs, and there was a little bit of moisture in these two. This one had like an ever so slightly damp little bit here, but these had a little bit just on the cases. There wasn't really anything on the insides, but... I reckon I'll just run this overnight just to make sure it pulls everything out before I put it all back together because I don't want to have to worry about, you know, what happened before. <laughs> so I better be safe than sorry. I don't, don't know how comfortable I'll be able to sleep next to my unicycle knowing it could burst into flames any moment. So hopefully this can take every little ounce of moisture that could possibly be in there out and then I can put it back together and I'll have to order a new battery soon.